Hi, this is Iris from Art Yarns, and I'm going to be demonstrating German short rows, which is a technique I use in my upcoming knit along. Um, I'm calling it the Spring 2020 Knit Along with Art Yarns, and it uses two skeins of Merino Cloud. And you can see a sample of it here. And let me demonstrate the technique. So I'm going to turn my back to you so I can start the knitting. The first thing I'm going to do in order to get to the position to make my short rows is I'm going to wrap the yarn around because I'm working with two colors and I'm going to knit 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As you can see, I knit 10 and the instructions are going to tell you once you're in position to start the next short row section is to turn your work. And turning your work just means that you make your right needle your left and your left needle your right. So you're just basically turning in the middle of your work. Sh um, short rows means you don't finish the row, you just turn in the middle of the work. So here's what I'm doing, just turning. And um, you could use two straight needles too. I'm just, I prefer circulars so I don't drop a needle. Okay, so here's my yarn, I just turned. And what I need to do is slip a stitch. That's my next instruction. And in order to slip a stitch, I'm going to need to put my right needle into the stitch and slip it from the left needle to the right needle. Just like that. That's it. But if you want to do a German short row, which prevents a hole from forming, it's really a nice way to do it, as I've instructed you in this pattern, you're going to slip a little bit differently, so watch me closely. I'm going to slip the stitch probably the same way I just showed you. However, I'm going to take the yarn and bring it from the front to the back. As though it's the first stitch on a row and sometimes you see the two legs forming, I want the two legs to be here. You see these two legs? That's going to serve the, um, to, to, that's going to serve to prevent the hole and you don't need to wrap the stitch, you just create a stitch with two legs. Once again, I'm going to just repeat that. So I slip the stitch and you just have one leg, but you want to bring the yarn to the back and pull it over so that now you have two legs for that stitch. And those two legs are gonna stay there. My next instruction is gonna to be to purl two, and that's the standard way. I just bring the yarn back to the front to purl, and then I purl two. Then I'm gonna to have to turn again. So watch what I do. I just make my left needle my right, my right needle my left, and in order to slip the stitch, I'm going to bring my right needle into the stitch to be knitted purl-wise. And the yarn's gonna be in the front, and then in order to create my German short row, I'm bringing the yarn to the back. So once again, you see how I turned a slip stitch with one leg into a two-legged stitch. And that's the whole trick to a German short row. And then I'm gonna knit one, and I'm gonna knit my previously slipped stitch, slipped with two legs, you see? I'm gonna knit into the full two legs, treating it like one stitch, which it is. See what happens? I just turn it into one stitch, and that prevents a hole from forming. And I'm gonna knit one more stitch. Once again, I'm instructing you to turn. So you're gonna make your right needle your left and your left needle your right. And your yarn is in the front. And I'm gonna slip the stitch purlwise and then bring the yarn to the back. It's really very simple. And here's your short row um, turn sti slip stitch that became two leg stitch. And now I'm instructed to purl two. And then I need to purl into the short row stitch, which has the two legs. And then I'm gonna 
curl one stitch past that. And that's the whole thing. So there goes your short rows and no holes are gonna be apparent. 